What is going on everybody? My hair is going crazy today. I look like Einstein if I did my tongue like this. Something like that. Whatever. Got the big Southern Miss jacket on. Representing Southern Miss. And I've got my new JSU hat. Representing that today. So... Today is going to be a little deep. It's going to be a little long. I'm going to be doing a series of these uh, videos and stuff like that. Stick with me, guys. I'm going to be talking about some uh, fun things that I've done in my life. Um, talking about what this channel is about. And that way you guys can get to know me a little bit better. That way we can connect. <clears throat> Alright? So as I said in the intro, um, my name is Gary Waller. I actually didn't say that in the intro, but I'm saying it now. Thank you for clicking on this video today. Today is going to be a little bit of a bench kind of video. Um, I'm actually going to just be talking about what my channel is, what I uh, want to do with my channel. Uh, the, the thing that I see a lot of YouTubers doing is uh, just making one specific thing, and maybe that's the formula. Maybe that's the way to do it, is you get good at one specific thing, you stick with it, and you get whatever you get or whatever out of the, the community that you pick. I don't really want to do that. I want to be a versatile all the way around, kind of polished up on all things uh, necessary. In about two to three years, I'll sh I should be polished up on how to make better videos. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm only working with a GoPro and my iPhone and uh, the technology that is on my iPhone. All of my editing is done on my iPhone uh, <clears throat> with iMovie. So, uh, haven't invested in a MacBook yet, I'm trying to save up for that. Now, I know you don't need a MacBook, but the two laptops that I have are old. And one is just really like a notebook. It's just for taking notes. It's what I use for school. It doesn't have a lot of hard drive. It doesn't have a lot of software in it. It's really not up to date. And yes, I could go buy a $500 PC and have Windows 10 and I could do all that jazz, but... I really like iMovie, and that's just my personal preference. It's super easy. I can uh, work with it, and I really like it. I've tested it out on the MacBook, and having these videos on my iPhone, filming with an iPhone 8, you, you, it's a really good quality. The audio is really decent without any external microphones, and so I can just take that and transfer it into my, my MacBook. So we'll get there, guys. We're going to get there, okay? <clears throat> But stick with me, you know, this is just some fun uh, that we're having. But I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about myself and what I want to do. So, like I said, I live in Jackson, Mississippi. I know most people don't tell their fans or tell their YouTubers or tell people where they live. But I'm not really telling you exactly where I live. Jackson, Mississippi is the largest city in Mississippi. Its population is like 700,000, something like that. It's a big city, but it's a little city. So, um, originally from Texas, San Antonio, I was born in Fort Sam Houston. Moved over here with my mom. Love Texas, absolutely love it. Wish I could have gone to a school in Texas, but I didn't want to pay that out-of-state tuition. Nice little tip there. Um, went to a nice little town, grew up mainly in a nice little town called Kiln, Mississippi. Kiln, Mississippi is spelled K-I-L-N, and it's, by the locals, is pronounced Duck Hill, like D-A-K-I-L-N. Um, it's where Brett Favre was from, his high school, of Hancock High School, um, is where he was from. Now, that school has now been renovated and is now North Hancock. The elementary that I went to was called East Hancock, and then I went to, uh, Hancock Middle and then Hancock High School, uh, the new high school. We have a statue of Brett Favre with his, uh, four jersey on from, uh, Green Bay, and it's all bronze, and our football field is, uh, the Favre field. It's pretty nice. Um, it was a nice contribute. You know, we have a new track and stuff like that. Really good school. I was blessed to be able to go to that school down there on the coast. At the time I was going to school there, it was like a 5A school. Really good school. Of course, I had my issues, and I'll talk about all that crap there uh, in another video of that kind of drama. What I want to talk about today is a little bit about myself, where I come from. So I was pretty much raised in Mississippi. I'm I'm not technically a Mississippian because I wasn't born in Mississippi, but pretty much Mississippian. I went to uh, Hancock High School, which is in Mississippi, Pearl River Community College, which is in Mississippi. Went to Southern Miss before they changed the logo. This is the old school logo. This is while I was going there um, and now currently going to JSU. Uh, high school, community college, 
undergraduate, now grad school. Um, now I am looking at some other schools if I was to ever do a PhD program. I am looking at some other schools that I possibly would want to, like the University of Florida, the University of Texas, something like that. That would be really cool to get a diverse of universities. Another quick tip is don't double dip your degree if you don't have to. Um, what I mean by double dip is if you have a, a bachelor's degree in psychology from the University of, say, Southern Miss, don't go and get your master's degree from the University of Southern Miss in psychology. Get your master's degree from a university if you can, like LSU or something of that nature. Now, I don't have any affiliation with these schools, and I'm not getting paid to, to promote these schools. I'm just telling you that education is a great thing, and you give yourself a bigger population and a diverse community of education by going to different universities. And it's also a great experience to travel and move in different places like that. But if you're a homebody, if you like to stay in one little central area, um, <clears throat> Ole Miss may be the place for you. Just kidding. Uh, I don't have a problem with Ole Miss. It's just everybody loves Ole Miss here in Mississippi, and it's either Ole Miss or Mississippi State. But uh, Southern Miss to the top, and uh, JSU is my new home right now, so uh, representing both schools. Uh, this YouTube channel that I'm making is, I, I call it Gary Waller Vlogs because it's pretty much, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm benching, I'm sitting, and I'm talking to you guys. I'm having fun with it. I'm having fun with it. I really enjoy it. Um, I say um a lot. <laughs> I'm working on that. Hacks, camera hacks, things that I'm learning, things that I'm figuring out that'll make everybody's life a little less money to spend and a lot uh, more uh, results. Fitness, like I said in previous videos and, and most uploaded videos that I have is I'm working on fitness. And then traveling, uh, me and my wife just went on our honeymoon. We got some great footage on our honeymoon and we're also talking about tips and tricks and things like that that you can do to travel that makes your life as a young person or uh, as someone who doesn't have an excess amount of money, you can still travel and have a lot of fun. Just vlogging, so stuff like this. So those are the four main topics that I want to talk about in my YouTube channel, and that's what I'm going to do. And I want people to watch, obviously, this, that's the whole point. Of I'm doing this for, this is where it gets deep, you guys, okay? This is my motivation to doing this. Okay, I never knew my father, and my father, was killed by a drunk driver when I was 13 and I never met him and it left a giant hole in my heart. I never got to know the the male part of my DNA. I, I grew up with my mom and so she had to be the mom and the dad for my entire uh, childhood and, and teenage years and adolescence. And she did a great job. Um, she motivated me and she put the fear of God into me, like most millennials need nowadays. <laughs> um, some people may not like that statement, but it's the truth. But she, she did as best that she could for what she had, and I, I greatly thank her for that. And if she does watch this video, I love you, Mom. Um, but the reason that I say that, and I opened up to you guys, is I never got to know my dad. I never knew what he talked like. I never knew how he acted. I never knew what his friends thought about him until I was 18 and I went to Texas and met his mom and uh, my grandma and now we have a great relationship and I met his brother and so we got to talking about him and they got to experience me and they were astounded by it. I was, I've was i never been around these people for 18 years and I go around these people one time and they all say I'm just like this man. And it left a hole. It left a giant hole because I don't know him. And I would say that I'm 26 now, and so you get over it or you deal with it. But in the same thing, you know, you figure out things on your own. And you have to figure out how to tie, how to shave. It's things like that that a mom can't really teach, not unless she watches a YouTube video or she learns it from somebody else and stuff like that. So a male role model is important. Um, just there's certain little things that you never knew you would need to learn and the best way to learn is having somebody there for you but um, that's that's why I'm getting deep in this you guys but I don't want that to happen to my children I want my children to be able to do that and so I don't have any children yet but in about three or four years me and my wife are gonna start having children 
and I want my children to have things that they can go back and look on and see that their dad was developing just like a normal person. I'm, I'm always going to be a normal person. I'm not a superhero. But I want my kids to be able to have those, have these videos and I want people to be able to watch and learn and have this kind of content to look back on and learn and develop and stuff like that. And I, I thoroughly enjoy watching YouTube videos and watching people progress. I think that's what hooks us in is it's like a reality show but without the extra added drama. Now obviously there are some people that add drama to it but that's why I think everybody likes watching people on YouTube is it's a progression of someone's life and I, I tell you if they ever made a movie with a kid that was five years old and they made that movie up until the kid was actually 25 that's a great movie because you get to see that actual person progress and develop and change from a child to a grown man or a grown woman or whatever and it's it's awesome to see progression and so this is why I'm doing these videos is I want my children to have content in case something happens to me that I'm not able to be there and that that I don't plan on that happening at all but I have this fear of anything can happen and it's true anything can happen you know my father who I don't know was killed by a drunk driver when I was 13 okay I was 13 so right around the age when I started actually needing him, I don't want that to happen to my kids. So 16 years later from, from now, I want my kids to have something that they can look back on. Or we can look back on it together and we can just laugh and have a good old time of seeing how dad was silly. Wearing his JSU hat and his southern mishap while he was in Jackson. But that is the video, you guys. That is... Me opening up to you guys, I wanted to get this a little personal. We're going to be doing this a lot in this channel. Um, just things like that, you know, just certain things like that. Talking about being uh, professional, camera hacks, how to do certain things that you never thought you needed to actually learn. Um, fitness and philosophy. I guess it would be, you consider it philosophy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a philosophy degree, but I like to think of myself as a, a thinker. Um, but alright guys, thank you for watching. If you wouldn't mind, give me a like. Go ahead and comment down below. Tell me if you liked the video or not. If, if you didn't like it, tell me what I did wrong. I always like to be critiqued so that way I can fix things and I can make myself better. And do me a step further, you guys. Do me a step further. Go ahead and share this video. This video may not have helped you, but it may help somebody else that you need. Alright? Thanks guys. See you in the next one.